First, if you were outside this weekend, you probably saw lots of people were wearing masks and many others were not wearing masks. So what is the right thing to do if you are spending time outside? Dr. Frank McGeorge here now this afternoon with some answers to that question. First, let's talk about when you don't need a mask outdoors. If you're outside in your own yard with your own family, you don't need a mask. If you're going for a run or a walk in an area where you aren't going to run into any other people, you don't need a mask. It gets a little trickier if you're going to be outdoors in a place where there are a number of people. The virus dissipates much more quickly outdoors, but the more people there are, the more potential risk there is. Back in February, researchers in Wuhan, China sampled the air in several public places and found the virus was undetectable or found only in extremely low concentrations. But there were two exceptions, a crowd in front of a store and a crowd near a hospital. Now, it's not clear if there was enough virus in the air to infect someone, but it's another reason to avoid areas with lots of people, even if you are outdoors. The bottom line, if you're going to be around other people outdoors and it's potentially going to be difficult to maintain social distancing, you should be wearing a mask. Because it's more difficult to breathe while running or doing strenuous exercise with a mask on, I would recommend doing those activities in places where you are not going to run into people that you cannot easily avoid.